At that point in music history, New York's Harlem was the center of a renaissance in African American arts and letters. The Harlem Renaissance, also known as the Negro Renaissance and the New Negro Movement, coincided with the Jazz Age and the days of prohibition. Ellington and the musicians of his day, however, were not waging a war or even it caught up in the middle of the war between the wets and the dries in the prohibition era. They were instead waging a battle of the bands. To the minds of some musicologists and cultural historians, Ellington came into his own as a pianist and a composer in the 1920s, earning the moniker Duke for the sophistication and innovations that came to characterize his performances throughout the New York area. In his assessment of Ellington's genius, our, the author of our textbook said this, his genius led him to create an orchestra style marked by rich and daring harmonies, by subtle contrastings of color and timbres, and by an ingenious handling of solo and ensemble relationships. Ellington's band began its engagement at Harlem's infamous Cotton Club, a favorite entertainment spot for white gangsters and black entertainers. They started there in December of 1927. Initially, Ellington's band endured the harsh criticism of veteran musicians for his unorthodox approach to jazz. With encouragement, however, from Will Marion Cook and others, Ellington persevered, even as the nation was reeling from the impact of the Great Depression, which started in the late 1920s and lasted throughout the 1930s. Ellington's band enjoyed successful tours in Europe. He had arrived as a world-class musician and artist. 